Hi everybody, I'm Cheryl Ward and I'm back here with Chrissy Martin and we're going to go over some more wine today. Today we're going to talk about a nice Chardonnay. Now I always like to drink Chardonnay in the summer, I think it's a good summer wine. Tell me about this wine. This wine is actually phenomenal summer wine. It's from a winery called Macavero. It's actually the heel of the boot of Italy. So it's actually not going to be like a typical Chardonnay. Um, if you're normally, if you normally do Chardonnay, this one's going to kind of throw you off a little bit because that part of Italy is actually so hot that they have to pull the grapes a little early off the vine and that causes it to be a little green and very acidic, which makes it a phenomenal summer wine. So you'll have to taste it. It's got that nice bright acidity to it. Well, and I noticed this nice green bottle. Green seems to be a great color on white wines. It you is, and they love wines. They love to make this a very fun label. It's very simple. It's very classic. It's not too elegant because they do pride themselves on having a very clean, easy drinking wine. So give us. This is more up your alley. It is up my alley, but it is drier than. Right. I'm the fruity girl, so. But I do like this. It is. It's, it's really easy to drink. It's a nice wine. It still has a clean finish. Um, like I said, they pull it really early from the vine, so it even has like that fun little kind of candlelight color to it. Yeah, it's real pretty. So, but you know, and you've had Chardonnay before, what do you think comparing to a normal Chardonnay that you've had? It's definitely a different taste. Like some of the Chardonnays I get start with that sweet. This is real crisp. Like it right. starts real crisp and then kind of goes subtle and then dry. And right. I like it. I do like it. And since we really don't have a whole lot of winter out here, we're it's the perfect the hot summer. weather. Yeah, this would we be do. great out in Corpus. And we, you know, it's one of those, we, we always say, you know, when you're sitting in the pool, it's crisp, it's bright, it's really easy to drink. It's a great summer wine, but what I think is really interesting is it's actually, I've been taught by Chef Shockley that uh, it's actually really good winter wine. Well, Chef Shockley, why don't you tell Come us what down. we can mix this with to make it such a great winter wine? I love this wine because um, it is crisp and it reminds me of biting into a crisp green apple. Oh, yeah. And so it's kind of got that apple overtone, undertones to it. It's got great acidity. Like a nice granny smith. Mm. It's just real. Mm -hmm. Has that sour um, tart. Yeah. So, it's like, so I love it with cheese for that very reason. It's just like a, it's like a fruit right. and cheese plate almost. Which is Here's great the for the holidays because you do nothing but cheese yeah. platters are so easy. So it's got enough acidity to go with the cheese and kind of cut the fattiness of the cheese. So it goes very well with cheese. And I like it um, with pot pie. I make chicken pot pie. Ooh. The acidity is enough to cut through the creaminess of the pot pie. And typically they're not that rich and full of flavor, so this complements it very, very well. Oh, that does sound good. That sounds really good. Um, I love, so I think it's a great holiday wine. Take your leftover turkey from Thanksgiving and make a turkey pot pie. You can have this with that. Oh, there you go. Christmas. Or just nice cheers it all by pie. itself. That'll work too. Cheers. cheers. Thanks. Learning a little more. Well, thank you, Dawn. <laughs> Well, that's it here from Cheryl Ward, Chrissy Martin, Don Shockley with Martin Ulysses. You can check us out on Facebook. See you later.